My name's Serena, I'm 25 years old and I'm a single mother to Sky, who's three and a half years old. I split up with her father when I was five months pregnant. And so then I guess been a single mother since she was born. Yeah. It was hard at first I'd say because she was young um, when I first let her go off unsupervised to her father's, um, especially with him living 60 miles away. So um, it was hard for me to kind of let go and like um, not worry because she wasn't like around the corner. But um, I felt like I had to give him that opportunity because obviously he's our father, he's shown an interest. So um, it's only fair that I allow him to obviously see her. Communication is key as um, I feel that, um, especially for the parent who doesn't spend that most time with their child. So I guess the father in this case, um, he phones her every day. Um, mostly in the evening, early evening, to check how she's been, her, how her day's been, what she's got up to at nursery. Try and keep them involved. Like, um, what I do, I keep Sky's father involved in, like, any updates. Like, she's, she's starting school soon, so he's aware of, like, what schools I've applied for and, um, even with him, I think that's important because he lives 60 miles away, so I do need, I do feel the need to, like, keeping him up to date with, um, any changes or development that she's going through. He was trying, so I'd like gave him a list. I said like, get coconut oil, it has to be organic. That's the products I use in her hair and on her body. Even now, like she's three and a half, I always still like text him to make sure like he's feeding her properly and you know, um, that she's um, going to bed at appropriate time. And I do like, even now like, um, give him tips, I guess. Again, maybe if one parent's a smoker, Sky's dad's a smoker, so I've emphasized on him when he does have Sky, um, to not obviously smoke in his car, um, not he says he doesn't smoke in his house, but to air out his flat, um, to sanitize his hands. I always say like the smell does transfer, even though he might not smoke around her, but if he's been previously smoking, it, from me, a person who doesn't smoke, the, the smell might transfer and linger. Set boundaries as well, I think, because especially in my experience where I split up with our father when I was five months pregnant, um, there's been times where he said, oh, like, we should do something for Sky, like, with Sky, like, go away for a weekend or me possibly go over to his. And I've kind of put that guard up just because I feel that I don't want to confuse Sky, like, the way she's always had it, that she's got mummy and um, Sky's house and daddy and Sky's house. So I do, wouldn't want to confuse her by, like, starting to spend weekends or um, days at her dad's and then, you know, go back to our place. So I do put that guard up. If, if it's going to be in the best interest for the child, then definitely go for it but I just felt that I had to put that set boundaries if there are any issues just sit down amongst yourselves and work it out try not to get family involved where um, you're saying well my mum said this my dad said it should be like this because then that can maybe like create tension amongst like when you do move on and, and you don't want the child to see that as well so I, I guess you can always get advice from someone but just don't let them have the um, last say if that makes sense. We do have that flexibility, like if I wanted her one weekend, which is his weekend, or I wanted him, um, him to pick up earlier or drop her later, like we can, um, we do have that good co-parenting bond where we can um, be flexible. We both have her best interest at heart, so that's the main thing. Um, so that's why our co-parenting works.